it was shot with this drone and this anamorphic lens by Moment. In July of 2019, Moment announced their latest Kickstarter project, an anamorphic lens for your drone. And today is the day I finally got my hands on it, so thanks Moment for hooking me up with one. If the term anamorphic is new to you, don't you worry. First, I guarantee you that you've watched many movies and series that leverage anamorphic lenses so that you should be familiar with all the image properties that come with anamorphic lenses. And second, I made a video that goes much deeper into this topic, so I will leave the link in the description below as well as you can click up here on the card at the end of the video. So let's jump right into the review and start with the most important part, the image quality. Does this, this tiny lens, does this live up to the hype and can it deliver these iconic, uniquely beautiful images of an anamorphic lens? What people mostly associate with anamorphic lenses are these iconic lens flares, specifically these horizontal streaks. For me personally, it's the, not the most important characteristic, but it's usually the most visible one to the untrained eye. And don't get me wrong, it's certainly aesthetically beautiful and very, very cinematic. Getting pronounced lens flares with this lens is extremely difficult and there are very natural reasons for this. A, you usually fly during the day, it's very bright. And B, you capture wider shots where the light source is not necessarily hitting the lens directly, which is necessary for such flares. So my best bet was to get up very early in the morning, crawl out of the bed like a zombie, while it is still a little dark outside, right? and I had to wait for the biggest light source in our solar system to only come up and boom, I got these beautiful, beautiful blue lens flares. Two little tips to increase your chances to get these lens flares. First, you want the light to hit your lens at an angle so that the light source itself doesn't eat up the flares. And second, the area where the flares appear should be darker to have the needed contrast and have them show more clearly. By the way, I noticed that my streaks are blue, which is the most common color for anamorphic lenses. But in early footage that I've seen from the Kickstarters and early reviews, the flares were more orange and more pronounced as well. So I'm pretty sure that Moment must have changed the coding on the production units. So if anyone from Moment is watching this, can you please let us know in the comments below if that's the case? I'm just curious. So this is actually my personal favorite visual characteristic of anamorphic lenses. A 1.33 times anamorphic lens like this one gives you a 33% wider field of view on the horizontal axis while maintaining the vertical dimension. This creates a very, very unique look and this wider aspect ratio of 2.39 to 1 without losing any pixels. I'm guilty as many other people to usually fake this aspect ratio by putting the black bars on top and the bottom, you know, like the letter box to create this effect, but this lens does it natively and without losing any quality. It's just such a gorgeous cinematic looking image that helps you really set your footage apart from all the other drone footage that's out there. It simply allows you to take in a little bit more. Now, is that last but least? Now, last but definitely not least is the oval bokeh that makes anamorphic footage so stylistically beautiful and visually extremely interesting and cinematic. There is a but. With these sweeping drone images, everything is usually in focus. So you won't be able to produce any bokeh unless you shoot something very, very close to you. A little side note tip, I noticed when shooting wide open as in a low aperture number, the image that you get with this lens on gets soft on the edges. So I would prioritize if needed to bump up the ISO and keep the aperture above five to get a more sharp image with this lens on and mwah, it looks good, seriously. <laughs> So 
So with the image quality out of the way, let's jump into the ease of use and the reliability of this lens. And this is where it gets tricky because we have to take a step back and understand how this is designed. While Moment built this lens specifically for the DJI Mavic 2 Pro, this baby here, the drone itself was not necessarily constructed to have this additional payload on the drone and especially not on the gimbal. Hence, you're running in a few issues uh, along the way and that you should be aware of and Moment is also very forthright about it. So first of all, the setup time to get this drone up in the air with the anamorphic lens is about two to three times longer than what you're used to. And this is because you first have to set up your drone, boot it up, let it go run through its gimbal calibration, flip it on its back, take the counterweight that comes with this anamorphic lens, put it on the back of the, of the gimbal of the camera, then put your anamorphic lens on top of it and flip it over again and then let it run and recalibrate your gimbal. I admit it, this sounds a little bit complicated and makeshift, there's a tutorial on the Moment YouTube channel, but in my opinion, the image that you get out of it makes it absolutely worth it every extra second you have to spend on setting it up. I've been also getting faster and faster the, the more often I fly with it. So with the setup out of the way, there are a few things that you need to know once the drone is airborne. First, at higher speeds or high winds, your gimbal almost certainly will drop. They call it the drimble drop. Out of the sudden, at first, you go like total shock mode because you think your drone crashed and luckily I was aware of it. Also, after moving the gimbal wheel back and forth a few times, it will readjust and the function it will function normally. So it happened to me a couple of times, at least once every single flight. And it can be quite annoying when it happens, especially in the middle of your money shot. Trust me, you get a little bit angry. But again, it's a little kink of this makeshift solution and it's totally something I can live with for getting this really beautiful footage. Uh, and you know, you just have to refly that that same shot again. Just something to keep in mind one, when you schedule your battery. Second, the first time I put the lens on, I noticed some micro jitters leading to really ugly rolling shutter issues in the image. And this is fortunately only happening when the drone is stationary on the ground. So don't freak out like I did when I first got the lens and put it on and I was super stoked to try it out and boom, I got just wobble, wobble, wobble. And finally, if you're very, very in tune with your Mavic 2 Pro, you may notice some changes in the flight and gimbal behaviors given the extra weight on your drone, but that's nothing major. You just get used to it. It still flies. Overall, this $250 addition to your $1,500 drone is certainly not for everyone and not every situation. If you're a filmmaker though and strive for this extra nudge in quality to distinguish your footage from others, I can absolutely recommend this Moment Air anamorphic lens and it delivers very strongly on pretty much all the visual characteristic of an anamorphic lens. And this, in my point of view, outweighs the issues it has. What we don't know though is if this has any, any long-term effects on your gimbal because again, it's extra weight. So far, I haven't heard any complaints, but it's also a fairly new product. What do you think? Is, it, is such change in image quality worth the investment of $250? Let us know down in the comments below. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. What do you think of the footage? And as always, thanks so much for watching. If you are not subscribed yet, consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell to get notified for any of the new uploads. I have a lot in the pipe, a lot in the cooker or in the oven. Um, my oven is right there. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Have a good morning, have a good night, wherever and wherever you are around this beautiful planet. It is even more beautiful with this lens. Thank you, bye-bye. Thank you.